What's going on everybody? My name is Steven. You guys are watching the Foul Air Gun channel. Check it out. While we got time, we are on the bench today. We're going to be shooting our first few rounds of the Snow Peak M60B. This is the bottle version of the M60. And this is in 9mm, 357. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and shoot today. And uh, we're going to be shooting right here at 25 yards just to start. And then we're going to shoot out to 50 yards just to kind of see what it does. Um, we're going to be shooting some Predator Poly Mags. We're going to be shooting some Nielsen Specialty Ammo. These are 79 grain slugs. We're going to be shooting some Snow Peak brand. These are round traditional pellets and these are 80.87 grain pellets. We're going to be shooting also these FX Hybrid Slugs. And in videos to come very soon, we're going to be shooting JSB and the Hades and other regular standard pellets that you'd see FX round traditional pellets. But for today, we're going to start with this. And we're going to start here with these Snow Peak brand 80.81 grain pellets. And we are aired all the way up to a full fill here on this air gun, which is, let's say, 20, 25 bar roughly. And we are maxed out on the regulator. You can see right there, we are just at about, I believe it's 1900 PSI there on the regulator. So. We are going to send our first few rounds down range here. Let's make it happen. Have a little fun doing it. Alright guys, so we got ourselves our first magazine ready here to go. And we are short one pellet. But that's alright, it's not a big deal. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shoot us a group. We're just going to do the little five shot group deal. I am not a five shot grouper type guy. I like to shoot entire magazine and make that consistent. But... Today we're going to shoot five shot groups here and uh, see what we can do. We're going to start here at 25 and work our way out. Here we go. We got our first target right here. This is going to be 25 yards just out there. And we're going to print us a group on that little silhouette out there on the ground and just see what this does. So we're full fill here. We have regulator at max. All right, we are ready for our first round. We are max on the regulator, max fill on the air here. And we're gonna go ahead and give this thing a couple shots. Safety first. First shot. Regulator looks like it might have pinged down just a hair, but rose back up fairly quick. It's got a little vibration in it, but it's it's really rising really fast. So it's barely dropping and rising really fast. Same thing, and we're still, we're just barely dropping on this regulator here, so looks like the regulator is working, and it's working, and it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. What was that, shot number four there? Let's give us one more here. Now, let's try to get one a little bit quicker. All right. Hey, that's a good looking five shot group, if you ask me. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to eject this magazine here. I guess i got to go through and take all these pellets out. And now, come on little pellet, my big pellet. Now we're going to load us up some of these, uh, let's, let's go with these uh, FX hybrid slugs here. And we're just going to do this on the same fill. There's no need to keep filling up and, you know, for consistency. This is, this is not quite so much for accuracy necessarily as it is just to see how this thing is doing right out of the box uh, from the factory. So again, I haven't tuned this whatsoever. The only thing I've done with this is uh, filled it up, replaced the O-ring from where the original O-ring blew up on it and uh, put a scope on it and I shot a couple rounds through it just to make sure that it was, you know, the scope was going to be 
fairly zeroed and uh, it's not even really zeroed actually let's get us five in here um, it's really not even zeroed it's just within relative distance of where it needs to be shooting at so I'm out of here I'm all over the place trying to just load five into this magazine and these are the FX hybrid slugs here so really nice large hollow point 357 caliber air gun slug there bear with me for two seconds while I put these back I don't like to leave a big mess alright here we go so now we're on these FX hybrid slugs oh backwards hey there Sure, if I'm in there all the way or not. I think maybe. Uh, something I ain't doing right here. There we go. I think. Okay, that was in there. Now I'll be honest with you. That felt like it probed nothing into the barrel, which means that these may be a little bit smaller in diameter than we need here. But we'll see how they fly. All right, I'm gonna get y'all. I went back down there. So we can see. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put a group, hopefully, next to that, and uh, we'll see what these do here. All right, give me a little point of aim on this plate. Oh, I have no idea where that hit. Oh, I think maybe just to the left of it. Didn't leave much of a mark. Things seem like they might, might might not be very accurate. Uh, regulator saying we've dropped a tiny bit here, but I mean we're talking small, small bit of uh, pressure here is dropping on the reg. Don't worry, we'll get lots of chronograph numbers. This is just an initial shoot. All right, our last one here. Okay, so that was not a good group with the FX uh, hybrid slugs, but that's okay. It does not disappoint me. Even if this thing just shoots pellets best and it doesn't really shoot slugs that great, I'll still be satisfied with it. Well, where we are, there we are. There's nothing wrong with a good pellet gun, you know. You know, a lot of people want to shoot slugs and stuff, but you know, there's a, there's a time for slugs. There is. Uh, you know, if you like shooting really long range and some uh, ballistic advantages that you can get from slugs. Uh, but for the most part, I don't mind shooting a good pellet. Well, if those uh, FX hybrid slugs shot all funky like that, I'm going to say that these uh, Nielsen 79 grain slugs here are probably not going to fly a whole lot better. But I am not going to say anything until we know for sure. And that is the point of this video. And I will take you all down there. And we will look at the groups. And I'll explain to you exactly what we got going on. And uh, again, I will get you velocities and everything. I can tell you right now. <clears throat> uh, shooting fairly consistent. Yesterday I was shooting these uh, 80 grain uh, snow peak pellets here. And they were moving at 760 feet per second. So uh, that was quite a bit of power. Quite nice. Alright, here we go. So I got this uh, magazine of Nielsen slugs loaded up here. Let's get you pointed out down there. All right. Let's see if I can make some kind of a group down here. Anywhere, somewhere on there. One. Good God Almighty, these things are flying all over the place. I'm feeling like based off of how these are probing into this barrel, the barrel is going to probably prefer something that's a little bit larger in diameter. 0.358 perhaps instead of 357. 
Now that first one really flew off, but the last few grouped fairly well. So again, these little five shot groups are just preliminary type stuff, you know, just for me to see what this thing is doing straight out of the box. All right, so we have a problem here. Uh, I want to shoot these. I really want to shoot these uh, Predator Polymags here and see what they're doing from factory again, right out of the box here. So I got an idea. Uh, again, this is once this thing, once I get my hands on it and I really get it up in the shop, you know what I'm saying? I can really tune this thing out. And I know that we'll get it to shoot something accurately. And when I say accurate, you know, <clears throat> the first group that I just shot out there at 25 yards. It's chilly. It's like 37 degrees out here. Uh, the first group that I shot out there at 25 yards with the uh, snow peak pellets actually stacked right on top of each other. I mean, like a half inch group or under probably even. We'll look at it, but, you know, really acceptable. I am going to hand load these Prager Poly Mags in. Okay, so I'm going to show you all real quick where we're at with the pressure and all that other good stuff. All right, so well, we've dropped down from... Uh, about 25 bar down to about 19, so we're, we're still right on pressure, but we're going to be dropping a lot with that. Now the reg, I'll switch to this side and show you, the regulator, we started all the way maxed out at the top there, still good in the regulator, okay, so it's helping us keep as consistent as possible with what air we have, and now we've shot three magazines, oh no, I'm sorry, we've shot 15 shots total, so... Let's see what happens. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Here's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to keep the camera where it's at. Yep. I'm going to keep this camera where it's at here. And uh, I'm going to try to figure out how to hand load these things here. And I know that this is aggravating. So bear with me, please, while I try to fidget these things into here. Because if anybody has experience with an air gun like this, an FX or whatever, you know, sticking your fingers in there with the pellet, that's difficult. All right, here we go. Let's get a last little group here. Where can I put you at? All right, well, it's on, it's on there. I'm glad the sun has decided to stay with us today. That one's flying a little. That one flew a little bit funky. Could be a lot to do with our pressure. My reg is still up there. Okay. That one was pretty close to where the other was. Get this last. Come on now. Where are we at here? This would be number... Is this number three? Number four. Hey, that's not too bad, see? Sometimes even the things that won't load into the magazines, you got to give them a try because you just never know what the gun prefers. And I'll be honest with you, these are, uh, oh, good heaven, good God almighty, this is where it's going to get crazy right here on me, even with my tiny fingers. Uh, these Predator Polymags, an amazing pellet too, by the way, if you've never seen one. Uh, it's, you know, it's just pretty much a really nasty hollow point with a nice piece of pointed plastic in the other now that polymer tip really does provide some extra expansion on this uh pellet here so when you're shooting and you're hitting ballistic jaw or anything uh it causes that because this is just a pointy piece of plastic it's like a kind of like a diamond and uh it's sunk down in and that really does help that expand a lot so you get a great deal of expansion with these predator polymags i recommend them as a hunting pellet all right final one here and then we're going to take a look at our groups Hey, you know what? I'll be honest with you. I think almost that that's probably the best group we've got there. Minus the second shot, which I don't know what happened there. Could have been just me. I have no point of aim, so I'm pretty much just aiming where I know it was at before. I have no markings on there. Anyways, let's go take a look at this. And uh, before we do, I'm going to show you pressure now. So we are now 20 shots in, I believe. And uh, this is going to show you where we're at. So... Full fill we started at 25 bar, 
we're about 15 15 bars somewhere we're still got a little bit of pressure in there and the reg is still it's about halfway through the green it's a little bit above halfway in the green there so you know that's still a lot of power left in the bottle uh not the highest shot count but you're talking about 357 and you know these these uh slugs and pellets are actually moving pretty respectable so let's take a look at our groups real quick all right here we are coming up on our first little target here 25 yards all right let's have a look at that there 25 yards and that was four different uh ammunition four different styles of pellet slugs that we tested right here and again this is all just with the factory stuff going on so this was our first group right there and those were those snow peak 80 80 grain 81 grain pellets this is our second group right here and this was with the fx hybrid slugs you got one two three four and five so really that kind of just went all over this group right here was with nielsen slugs which i'm not really sure what happened with that shot there but the rest of them you know i mean it's it's a little starting to drop there you're seeing a little bit of that regulator you know trying to keep them together a little bit of a drop but for the most part still out here at 25 yards you know we're still under an inch there mm, well with with this you know it's an inch maybe just a hair over but and then right here these were the predator poly mags now i had that one fly because pretty much what i was doing was i was just trying to aim at this little bunch of muck right here that's on his target and that was my second shot first one hit there i don't know if i was you know aiming off somewhere if that was a flyer but the rest of them right there even tighter i believe than that uh snow peak brand pellet there which i believe if those snow peak pellets are flying like that and i believe some jsb or fx pellets are going to fly much better all right guys so i just went and i aired my bottle back up so we're at a complete max fill here on this 25 bar and uh i just figured i'd go ahead and take a moment and just show you how this screws right on here it's not rocket science but some folks may want to see it some folks may want to hear it which is probably more so what i think uh one of the things i was concerned about was when you initially load this onto here was this going to be spewing some type of air that was going to be lost which would make filling of the bottle uh, fairly inaccurate but it actually works really well all right so some of that traffic would go we might hear and that's it and all that is is your regulator filling up air filling into the plenum and there you have it there filled right back up uh, it does drop once you uh, fill this regulator and this plenum is filled that is something that's unfortunate is that this is not ever really going to show full uh, until it has that external fitting on there for me to be capable of bulk filling this externally without removing this bottle because then you won't ever really be able to fill this thing up unless you really crank this thing way up into the red which i wouldn't really recommend doing that but we are at a full regulator pressure here and we are now going to shoot our group out here at we're actually 55 yards now so let's get to it all right so i've went and switched lenses here so we can get a little bit of a better look out there and get us panned out here so we are going to be shooting right out here this is 55 yards and you'll see i have those two dots i'm gonna try to turn this exposure down a little bit here and maybe we'll be able to see some groups down there all right so i'm actually just going to shoot two groups here since we uh had the best luck with the pellets we're going to shoot one group of uh five each group five shots 55 yards we're gonna start with these snow peak branded pellets here these are 80.81 grain so pretty much just an 81 grain pellet and uh actually i'm just gonna single nope i'm not gonna single shot load those pellets one two three four five and just part of me for two seconds here while all i do is load this magazine up for us here 
I know I should have been prepared. Alright, here we go. Magazine's loaded up. We are probed for our first pellet. Alright, here we go. So I'm shooting out there. Uh, 55 yards. I'm going to put a little bit of magnification on this rifle. Just a little bit. Alright, let's see what happens now. So we are on uh, Coyote target. 55 yards. pretty good whack there and really didn't have a whole lot of drop yeah that one flew off that could have just been a pellet issue and for the final shot here Now I'm just going to go ahead and while we're already out there, I'm switching right over. I'm going to have to hand load these next five here. These are going to be our Predator Polymag pellets here. Alright, first shot here. We are going on that dot on the right. Now that one dipped low. What are the weight on these? Let's see. Now this is an 81 grain pellet. Alright, these are grouping. Let's see what happens. We're only on shot number two. Get number three in there. So far, so good with the Predator Polymags. And this thing just may be pellet picky. Or slug picky. I'll tell you, that's a, that's a very respectable group for 35 caliber here at these velocities. Uh, you know, it's really not even turned up yet. with you I'm gonna shoot one more here and I, I'm gonna call it at that I think this is a I think this is a really respectable group I just want to see what it does on this last shot here and uh, regulator saying we've only dropped just a hair all right here we go final shot I mean that wasn't too bad to be honest with you pretty respectable all right I'm taking you all the way out here to our 55 target. 55 yards, Mr. Coyote here. All right. And then just have a look at that. So that, those, both of those groups there are not the worst groups I've ever seen out of 357. They're not the best groups, they're not the worst. Uh, this is, these are the Snow Peak branded pellets here, 81 grains, and these are the Predator Polymag. Most of them actually hit here, and then you had two drop down to the bottom, but this is, again, just factory. No tuning, no adjusting whatsoever. It's straight out of the box. This is what I'm getting. All right, guys, well, there you have it. The first initial shots with the uh, Snow Peak M60B 357 caliber here. And uh, just trying out some pellets and some slugs, just seeing what it's doing right out of the box. Again, no tuning, no adjusting whatsoever. So now that you all have got a chance to see what happens before I put my hands on it, be looking forward to some videos out there of what I do after I modify this thing. I'm uh, going to get you lots of chronograph numbers and other videos of this before I do that. So, you know, don't get all worked up. It will get out there. The information I'll get as much as I possibly can prior to doing any tuning or modifying on this. So, a lot, you know, to get you some... Uh, some accuracy and get you some chronograph numbers and uh, just get you some real honest opinions and overall 
you know, ideas about what can be done with this and what it's like for me and how it's working for me. And, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up. With that being said, hey, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and just, you know, subscribe if you would. That's the least you could do. And uh, if you like it, you know, I hope you'll come back and see some more. As always, I'll see y'all on the next one.